In this CAD clip we're going to use Revit 2015 to show you a couple of tips on placing rebar specifically when it's parallel to your um, work plane um, or cover and we're going to uh, use a standard kind of built-in structural template file here to start off something that comes with Revit and it really doesn't matter this uh, lesson applies really to uh, 2015 right back to like you know 2011 version of Revit uh, ever since they started uh, adding the rebar stuff in so I'm just gonna start off a new project using my structural template file that comes with Revit and by default it puts us on level 2 and I'm just gonna draw a column and a beam so we're gonna say okay structure beam and we'll pick a big concrete beam place it in over there, hit escape, go back here, uh, draw a column, pick on here, pick a big column. Note the, 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 the column is going vertical and it's going from the top down. So if we go to a 3D view, there's our column, there's our beam, SD on the keyboard, I can go to a south elevation Okay, take note where the uh, beams and columns are located. Okay, from level one up to level two, and we'll start off by dealing with the column. So we have column on level one to level two, and we want to put some vertical rebar, and we want to just put some horizontal stirrups in there. That's about it, and we want to use the beams or the rebar system to kind of give a spacing. So let's go to a floor plan. So let's go to our level one, probably better. If we try to do it from our level two, it's not going to work because we need to have it in section. You have to um, be selecting your work plane um, has to be kind of cutting through it. And up on level two, we're not really cutting through it. And that in, a, in itself can be a problem. So there's a tip for you there is try to get it so that you're looking at the concrete in section one way or the other. It's being cut. So then you can pick on it and you'll get your rebar option. Okay, so we'll say rebar. It's going to tell us that our hooks are being included. So let's just digress. I'll hit cancel. If you go to your structure tab under reinforcement settings here, you can see that include hooks in rebar shape definition. There's also some more information you can click on here. So that's what that warning is. So we pick on here. I wish you could just turn it off because it comes on every time. So we say OK. And then when we go to place that, we always want to look up here at parallel to cover, perpendicular to cover, parallel to work plane. So if we want to put a piece of straight bar in, we can say perpendicular to work plane and we try to place it in here and we can't we got that stop sign that's part of our tip so we say okay well maybe I'll try placing a stirrup in there so I go down to all my wonderful rebar shapes say okay I'm gonna click on here try to place it and it's we're reading down here it says click within a valid rebar host to place the rebar so we're seeing that green dashed line but it's not letting us place it so we say oh that's right we, it, this should be parallel so we say parallel to work plane and we try it it's not working and which is really what the stirrup is it would be parallel and then the straight bar at the top the number one bar you can also pick the the bars there's a, a, an option that you can turn on but perpendicular still not going so that's part of our problem it's this annoying stop sign that we just can't seem to place it so part of the problem is is that our work plane our current work plane is at level one which means it's at right at the very bottom of the column which means it's not really cutting it if I hit escape escape and I stop that because it's not working and if I hit my set work plane button here, it's going to tell me my work plane is at level one. If I hit escape and I go to my south elevation, well, level one is right there. So my work plane is right at the very bottom of the column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a reference plane 
somewhere down here. Escape, escape, nice and low. And I, yeah, I'm going to give that a name and just call it, you know, reference plane one. Click out. Now I'm going to go back to my level one. I want to look at my view range and my cut plane here. If I go down in this view and I go to my view range, I'll see that I'm being, you know, cutting this about a foot above level one. I can even raise that up a little bit if I want. Hit apply. The key is that the the work plane that I'm on and the cut plane have to be positioned properly just to place the rebar. So now before I place my rebar I'm going to go set. I'm going to change my current work plane to be reference plane 1. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now that's my current work plane. And I can see it because my cut plane is about you know foot above that. So now watch I pick on here go to my rebar gives me the same message. I'm gonna use this type I'm gonna go perpendicular okay now it's letting me place it. I'm gonna use a bigger bar just to make it show up okay it's gonna give me this again and I'm gonna say okay you know I want to use a maximum uh, fixed number of three so I can go in here and say, OK, I want three across there. And three across here. And the, it's not going to give me, oh, there it is there. I can't get it near the middle. So I'll just pick there. I'll hit Escape on the keyboard. I'll tab to pick these guys. And I'll just nudge those into the center. OK. So now I'm going to say close hidden windows up here. Or you can go view, close hidden. Okay. And then I'm going to go to a 3D view. And then I'm going to tile my two views. Okay. So if I click on here and I go to wireframe, we can see those vertical rebars that I placed in here. Okay. Now I'm going to place the stirrups. So let me just pull this over a bit. And I'll pick on here again. Again, because my work plane and my uh, visual cut plane are uh, positioned properly, I can say rebar. And this time I'm going to go grab my stirrup from down here. Okay. And this is parallel to work plane. And then, oh, all of a sudden, there's that stop sign again. Ah, what's the problem this time? Okay, different problem, but it doesn't really tell you. The combination of rebar and rebar shape is not valid. And what it's telling us is, based on the radius that a number 10 bar has to have, it's not going to fit in here with the cover and everything. Okay, it won't make that shape. So I'm just going to hit uh, modify and stop. I'm going to start again. I'm going to hit my rebar button, but before I pick my shape, I'm going to change my size to be something more reasonable like a number six. Hooks do not match the rebar of the shape. Okay. Uh, let's go back to a number five. Cancel. Um, let's switch to this, hit escape, rebar, it's not letting me change my, to a number five, you have to do this all in the right order, then I go down here, pick this, and it's going to let me place it, okay, the key was, the rebar size versus the shape here just doesn't work. So usually it means you have to make your rebar smaller. But as I tried to make the rebar size smaller, it was still stuck on this and it wouldn't work. So I had to switch back to be a straight piece of rebar. And then you can see as you move around, it'll tell you which corner you want to have your hooks in. Pick on there and then it puts it down there. You see down where my work plane is. Hit escape, escape. I can click this after the fact and say 
you are not a single you are maximum spacing of you know eight inches 200 millimeters and then it'll put that in for me click out and we have that okay beams are a little easier let's go to my level two and close off this guy leave the 3d open and tile these two guys okay now if I in plan in section it's a little bit easier because you don't have to deal with the the view range and the cut plane because you go straight in here and do a section boom escape escape now we double click on here and we open this guy up close this guy tile these two okay move this over okay we're already cutting through here and our view range our, our, our viewpoint and our current work plane are all in a good position to be able to do this so I because sections automatically do that floor plans are a little more complicated pick on here rebar and I can go right to this same shape and then go in and do my same maximum spacing of 8 inches and then boom put it in puts those guys in go back to here pick this guy now I can bump up to be a bigger bar and um, let's go with fixed number of see it's a little bit buggy and I want to go perpendicular don't forget okay don't forget to check your perpendicular and your parallel here giving me a funny error start it again go with this go with that fix number three a little bit finicky wouldn't you say escape escape okay hit exit maximize this view okay so when you draw a section and look in your viewpoint and your cut plane are all coincidental at the same place it's a lot easier when you're dealing with columns it's trickier because your floor plan has a view range which says where you're viewing from to start with okay and it also um, has your current work plane which is listed over here okay set work plane it's at level two right now because it's back to level two you wouldn't be able to do it from here okay we want to go to level one and go set and use that reference plane one not level one which is a little bit lower than what my view range is on my my level one I move my view range up to be two feet so your view range has to be above the current work plane which it looked like it was about six inches or 150 millimeters and that'll get you every time the other one is don't try to use a large piece of rebar in tight quarters because it will uh, not be able to make its bends so hopefully that's uh, that'll help you through a couple of annoying conditions with placing